Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is my uh, Saturday morning uh, health professional uh, interview uh, program that we do on the third Saturday of every month. Uh, tune in on the first Saturday of every month, same time, uh, same channel, uh, where I give a, a more or less detailed explanation of redox signaling molecules. But this morning, we're just going to have a chat with uh, Yanni Feliciano. She's a uh, best-selling author of two books, one of which I had a very minor uh, uh, involvement with called No More Fatigue. She's also written a book called Should I Get a Chiropractor? Um, and the most important thing to know about Yanni is she is really passionate about helping people um, with their health to improve it in any way possible. And she's literally helped thousands of people. She got her chiropractic education down there in Southern California um, and got an additional certification in orthopedic chiropractics. And she's been recognized by the city of Whittier, which is a pretty good sized town down there as the most outstanding chiropractor uh, for three years uh, in a row. So she knows what she's talking about and we're going to find out a little bit more about Yanni this morning. So Yanni, um, I know everybody likes to just hear a little bit about the person, who are you? Um, and then we'll get a little bit more into why ASEA for you, but uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, you, you said a lot of my professional um, accolades there. I've been a chiropractor for 34 years, and I love riding horses. That's my hobby. I'm married. I live in Southern California. I do computer-guided chiropractic. I am in, I am in practice, and um, we're pretty busy. We've had a busy practice for the last 34 years. Um, just, I love helping people and, uh, I do it however I can. I know when I visited you down there, your, your practice is in this beautiful little, um, uh, home. Uh, so you just feel right at home when you walk into your front office there. It doesn't, you know, it's not like a doctor's office in a, in a big sterile building somewhere, but tell us a little bit about, um, how you first heard about ASEA and, and why you've really, you've been involved now how many years? Um, I think it was 2018 when I started. Okay. Um, I think it yeah. was then because I know I had just had an auto accident a couple of months before. So I think that's accurate. Yeah, I think you're right. I think yeah. it was shortly thereafter I came down and we did, we did some um, wellness, ASEA wellness seminar kind of things there. And um, so what was it that really captured your attention with the SIA to, to be more than just a, a product user? What, you know, what, what was it about a SIA that really got your attention? Well, when I, I, when I started using it for myself, um, initially, I really started using it for myself. I didn't know anything about it. I was having dinner with a, a girlfriend of mine and her husband and my husband, we were out to dinner and when I, she didn't really know what was going on with me, she was visiting from out of town, but I was kind of just holding my neck, I guess. I, I had some discomfort and she's like, what's going on with your neck? <laughs> and I'm like, well, I kind of went into the story about my accident, which was pretty uh, severe accident. And she had this tube you know, this little tube of product in her purse. And she's like, oh, here, use this, put this on. So I put it on and it just really, it felt better for me. I was kind of surprised because I'm like, what is this? And then they started talking about the technology. And quite frankly, at the dinner table, I didn't understand what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. um, but it worked for me and I'm like, okay, well, I'll try it. And I know Jerry White had a um, seminar the following day. And I'm like, I got to learn a little bit more about this because I'm the type of person that I have like an inquisitive mind. I like to know, I, I love to learn. I read lots of books. I just I like to know. So they had said, well, talk, you know, go see Jerry and he will, he'll explain more of the science behind everything. And um, that's how I kind of got started initially. I was just doing it for myself. But then when I saw my results, and I have a front desk girl who is always curious about everything I do. So she's like, what's, what are you doing? What, what's happening with you? So then I kind of told her a little bit, and she kind of spread the word. And 
I couldn't keep it to myself because I felt great. So I started kind of recommending it to a few people, family members, friends, patients, and there was always a positive response for whatever was going on. So I'm like, God, this is like so weird because it's just, it's great. It's good for everything. And being the type of person that I'm, you know, I have an oath and I have a desire to help as many people as I can. How can I not share this with them? So that's sure. basically how I got involved. Sure. So you were an inquisitive person to begin with, um, somebody who liked to learn about new things that attracted your attention. And then, of course, you know, your passion for uh, not just helping yourself, but helping others kicked in. And, and uh, you know, that's how the story started. So, you know, it's been a few years now, and sometimes that that passion can kind of wane um, and that as the newness wears off. But what is it that that keeps you going? Because I know, you know, um, you know, I see you on webinars. We talk to each other. I know that you're definitely engaged uh, with the SIA, you know, mostly with the product end of it, but certainly um, the business end as well. But what what keeps you going? Um, is it the experiences? Do you, tell me what keeps you going. What what you know? Why is it that uh, a SIA crosses your lips relatively uh, frequently when you're talking to people about their health? Results, results, results. Um, I find that I keep having people that ha are experiencing, I call it the molecules. I always talk about the molecules this and the molecules that, but whether it's a top, the top topical or the, uh, the liquid molecules, I, I love hearing the stories of the, the benefits and I've had many patients have really wonderful results and they tell me and they come in super happy and, you know, oh, you know, Dr. Yanni, this and Dr. Yanni. I mean, it's just the results are what keep me engaged. Um, that's the main thing. It's nice to be able to have something that that I can do in addition to the physical work that I do. Now, I know you know that I'm all about the whole triad of health, which is the triangle where we have the structural component, the the mental, emotional, and then the biochemical, chemical type. And I just feel like we have everything. Now we can help um, our patients with all three sides. And I'm not a psychologist or anything like that, but people talk to me and I listen to them and they're happier when they feel better and they're functioning better. So that's what keeps me engaged because it just keeps on getting better and better and better. And, um, you know, I love, I love the, the product. I love the business. I love the people involved that I've met um, with the different, you know, places that I've gone to. Um, I, I still kind of am about the product because as a healthcare professional, for me anyway, because I'm in practice, that's what, you know, that's what I do all day long. I'm treating people, I'm with the public, and I'm trying to help them however I can. Right. So essentially, what you're saying is, once you realized how effective this could be, it was it was a no brainer. In fact, you'd feel bad if you didn't uh, share it with people. You know, a lot of times I find that people's initial response to this is really based on the fact that you're giving them hope. Would you, would you comment on that? I mean, what kind of responses you know, I know some health professionals are worried that their patients might think they're being a little bit weird when they suggest something that doesn't come as a prescription or isn't like what they're used to when they go to the office. What, you know, what, what kind of responses do you get when you initially share this and just talk to people about it? I get a lot of different responses. Some of them are hopeful. Some of them are going, eh, I don't know. Um, they basically do it. I think they try it. If, if, I mean, I basically tell them you need to be on the product at least 90 days to see where, where you're at with it. If you're going to take, you know, a bottle and try it, maybe you'll feel a little bit different. Maybe you'll feel more energized, but maybe you won't. And you have to give it an opportunity to work in your body. So I tell them, 
this is what I recommend. If you're not going to do it, then don't do it. And sometimes people don't really want to do anything new, but then they'll find that they want more. They want more out of their health. They want more out of their personal situation. So then they'll try it later. But most of them will say yes, because they trust me and they know how passionate I am. And when they see that I'm enthusiastic and passionate and I said, you know, what do you have to lose? Then we just go from there. And I tell them a few stories of some of the patients in my office, you know, what, what they've experienced and what I've personally experienced. And most people want to try it and they're happy to know that I have alternatives, other things that they can do for themselves that could benefit them. So they're really grateful. Yeah, that's what I found too. So um, some health professionals also, um, I think um, they may not express it to me when I'm talking to them, but some of them I think are thinking, wow, if this is as good as as you say it is, Dr. Walker, am I going to lose a patient because they're going to, you know, their health is going to, going to improve in all these fantastic ways uh, and, and I won't have them as a patient any longer. Um, I don't think that's an issue, but maybe you can comment on that, um, how it's worked out in that regard with your patients. Yeah, I haven't lost any patients from this. I have happy patients. And in my practice, we're about health and wellness and prevention. So they want everything. Most people that want to do this want to be healthy. They, they want to live their life to the fullest without any kind of limitations. So I haven't had any issue with that. They're just happier because they're getting to those wellness levels faster getting out of that crisis faster than they would have otherwise. So um, I, I think they're more grateful and I think they become better patients of mine and anything that I want to kind of recommend, they just, they listen because they know I'm not going to recommend anything for them that I don't have full confidence in. And for me, I know that it, maybe I shouldn't do this, but I always try everything before I recommend stuff. And I know with certain medications or whatever, you're not going to do that if you don't have a condition, but this is so healthy and so natural. I, I don't really recommend stuff that I don't have hundred percent full confidence that it will help sure. um, Even healthy people that don't have any, anything going on. They just want to have that extra little, um, I don't know what, if, if we want to call it like insurance that they're going to live their lives better, fuller, healthier. It just kind of tips them in that direction so that when, you know, we're all aging and we just want to live a, a better quality of life. So, yeah, so. Absolutely. So in terms of uh, facilitating or being an adjunct to your standard chiropractic, have you found that, especially with the gel, have you found that it it makes that uh, easier or works better? Or how does it work alongside of, you know, your typical manipulations? And I know you, you're not a typical chiropractor, you do a bunch of really cool stuff, but, you know, how does it fit in there? Um, do you have a tube of that in the in the treatment rooms? And, and do you use it in conjunction with what you're doing? I, I don't really use it in conjunction with what I'm doing. When I recommend it to people, I tell them to do it. Once in a while, I have it and I'll do some balance tests and, and so on and so forth when I do examinations. But um, I really don't. And it's funny that, I mean, the tube, the topical does work beautifully with pain, but I'll just tell the people to, to do it. They just, they just buy one of these things. But what... Um, what I, what is funny is because people come to me for whatever reason they're coming, but they also have other things going on, things sure. that have nothing to do with chiropractic. They might have a rash, they might have just fallen and skinned their knee, or they burn themselves on the, you know, pu pulling something out of the oven. And I think that the, the topical for me has been super easy to explain, especially if they have anything on their skin that they can see, because you can see it, you can feel it instantly. And what I just tell them is the liquid molecules are doing the same thing inside your body. You might not be seeing it, but it's doing it inside of the body. And when they see what happens with the topical, they want 
to drink it. <laughs> they want to drink it. They want to, you know, I have patients that tell, tell me I want to bathe in it. And I have a patient <laughs> that literally puts a little Tupperware thing, pours it and puts her feet in it and lets it like soak in. I'm like, wow. I mean, they're telling me all these things that I'm not telling them to do, but I think it's interesting that they, they love it and, um, and they're getting benefit and results from it. That's awesome. So how important is it to you as a healthcare professional, um, talk a little bit about uh, the safety profile of ASEA um, and how comforting it is uh, to know uh, how safe it is. Well, I think it's great. I mean, it's native to the body. I've not heard any ill effects from it. Sometimes people will ask me, I've heard about the whole detox reactions and, you know, is that going to be a bad thing? And I tell them just drink a lot of water, I mean, if they have to lower the amount that they take and then build back up, but I've not heard of anything, any ill effects from it. And the way I understand it is that it's, it works with our body. We have it in our body. We just have it in lower quantities as we age, as we are stressed out, as we experience different types of envir environmental factors or, or different things. So we're just raising the levels that we should have. And um, I love the safety. I mean, I'm not aware of anything that uh, is uh, negative about it. And that's, that is important because sometimes people are afraid, like, oh, I have this condition or that condition, or I'm taking this medication. How's it going to affect me? Um, I did have a patient in my office that was taking a few medications and uh, it, it affected him. Um, he had like some blood, uh, blood sugar issues. And when he started taking it, he asked me to, can this make your blood sugar go too low? Um, because he was feeling a little <clears throat> lightheaded, dizzy, that kind of stuff. And I'm like, not that I'm aware of, but talk to your doctor, work, you know, work out that situation. And um, after he was taking it over a while and the doctor is changing his medications, different things, ultimately he took them off the medication he was on because he didn't need it. And that's what I told him. I said, if your body's getting more healthy, not, you know, working properly, maybe you don't need that. Don't take yourself off. Talk to your, you know, doctor. And um, now the doctor's telling him, you know, this is amazing. Keep doing whatever you're doing. And maybe by the end of the year, you'll be off all your medications. So those are wonderful things that are above and beyond what people come to me for. He wasn't coming to me for that. He was coming to me for his, you know, discomforts in his body. Yet we're changing the whole person. It's wonderful. Yeah, that's a, that's an important point. And the safety profile is one of the coolest things that I like about this. Because you know, when when I write a prescription for something as a as a MD, you know, I always have to go through all of the bad things that might happen and let them know about those. And the pharmacist does that too. But I, I just don't have to do that with a SIA because I know that it can't do anything. There's absolutely no way that um, taking additional redox mo molecules can harm you in any way. And that just, um, I just sleep better at night, I think, because of that, um, knowing that it's a, it's, a, it's a very, very safe product for everybody that takes it doesn't interact with any medications. But in, in the case that you were talking about with blood sugar issues, it, it didn't cause that um, uh, any problems with the medicine. What it did is it made him healthier and he just didn't need as much medication as he had been on. And I've had, uh, I've had that uh, experience several times. So I, I always uh, mention to people who are on blood sugar lowering medications that as they get healthier, uh, their pancreas may start kicking in and they may not need as much of what they were doing. But let's switch gears here a little bit here because I, I seem to remember uh, that your horse had a great experience with redox molecules. Could, could you briefly tell people what happened with your horse? Absolutely. Um, one day I went to the barn and, and it looked like he had like a mole on his face that wasn't there before. I've had my horse, he's 25 years old now. He, I got him when he was four. I know everything about him. Boop, one minute, he just, overnight, he's got this mole looking thing on his face and it got 
bigger and bigger. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, that's not good. So I called my vet to see if she could remove it because it was ugly. You know, it's just, I had a nice looking horse and it was just ugly. Um, And I'm thinking whatever it is, it needs to be nipped in the bud. So she came out and looked at it and said, no, we can't remove this. He's going to have to have more extensive care. Um, instead of doing it at the barn setting, he'd have to be go to the hospital and have just more extensive care. And I'm like, well, can you inject this? You know, I told her about the molecules. I'm like, can you like inject this into it? Because I know this can't hurt anything. Why not get it in there? Oh, no, 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 no. You can't disturb it. It'll make it angry and blah, blah, blah. Then I said, well, can I put this gel on it? I was just asking her, I was going to do it anyway, personally, (laughs) but I just asked because, you know, I'm one of those type of people that will ask the vet. She's the expert with the horse. Oh, sure. Go ahead. That's, you know, go ahead. Knock yourself out basically is what she said. So we were going to um, schedule the stuff. She said she wanted to biopsy it, et cetera, et cetera. Long story short, I get to the barn. I think it was a couple months later i don't know i just kept putting it on there um the thing is like almost like hanging off he must have rubbed it it started to change uh appearance it started to look like it was drying out and then maybe it itched i don't know so it started he rubbed it off or not off completely but almost and what happened was the first thing i thought was oh no you can't disturb it blah 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 so i called the vet i'm like well it's like coming off. I know you want to biopsy it. You need to come get it because he could, you know, rub it off in the stall in the pasture. We're not going to find it to be able to to biopsy it. So it was her day off. And she's like, well, can it wait until tomorrow? I said, I don't know. You better come get it. So she came out, uh, snipped the last little piece off. In fact, it was so um, it was hanging off so much. I'm thinking, well, can you, should I just cut it off? And she's like, oh no, you can't cut it off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so she came out, looked at it, snipped the last little piece off and, um, took it to biopsy it. We were still on track to get him set up to do the hospital treatment because she said he needed that. She calls me up to schedule the hospital treatment or just to, somehow or another their, their office. I'm like, well, do we need to do that? It's like gone. It's healed. There's nothing there. The hair has grown back completely the same color. Oh, yes. You know, it has tentacles. It has different things. It needs to be done. I'm like, does it? I'm like, I'm a chiropractor. I can feel there's nothing there. So she came out, looked at it. She was amazed. She was thinking, I've never seen anything like it. So she said, I guess just keep doing whatever you're doing. And And that was that. Um, And every time she comes out for any other situation, she always looks at it. She brings another vet. She can't believe that it's gone because she said these things are characterized by coming back, remission and and exacerbation. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I just keep putting over the area. I have the little spray bottle. I just spray it every time I go there. Just put, just spray it. There's nothing there, but I don't want it to come back. And any little cut or bruise or anything that happens to them, I put the topical or I just spray. And um, I've heard some people say that, you know, the whole placebo thing with people, if you believe that this is going to work for you, it's going to work because your mind believes it. And I believe in, you know, the mind being a powerful thing. But with my horse, he didn't know what was going on. He didn't believe. He didn't think about anything. And I've heard that with animals, there is no placebo. And it it worked and it saved me a lot of money and my horse is looking outstanding again. And um, I'm just super happy and excited about that. That's awesome. So that's been several years ago that that, that, that whole scenario played out, hasn't it? Yeah, that was in 2019, the okay. summer of 2019. And here we are all these years later, no reoccurrence, um, nothing. Nothing. So, so no. I suspect I suspect that if your horse could, he would probably be given hugs and kisses and uh, 
<laughs> and thank you. And and I'm sure is uh, if horses have gratitude, I'm sure your horse has a lot of that for, oh, yeah. for helping for helping it to get rid of that because these molecules, um, they're not a cure or a treatment for whatever that was that was hanging off your horse's uh, jaw there or whatever. But they sure gave that horse something that could use in some way to to take care of that. So um, let's wrap this up by maybe um, just. What are some of the, without names or specifics or diseases or anything, what are, what are some of the, what experiences in your patients really stick out that make you really glad that you recommended that they try redox molecules? Do you have a few favorite uh, stories? <laughs> what was that? Do you have a few favorite experiences? Oh, I've got tons of them. How much time do you have? Um, well, we got, I, another, we got another a few minutes here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the skin rash situations that have been lingering for years on my patients and they've been using ointments and different things that their medical providers have given them. I've told them to use the topical, um, molecules on that and they've cleared up right away after 30 years. Um, uh, hy not hypertension, but, you know, blood pressures have normalized um, lots of uh, I have a, a patient that was taking something out and, and caused a, a severe like burn on her arm. She put that on right away um, and it helped out pain anywhere in the body. I had this one guy that had a growth on his head. I don't know what it was. I didn't even know. I was treating him for something else. He put the topical on there. Two weeks later, it fell off. Um, oh, the lots of, lots of things. It sounds like. Yeah. A lot, I mean, every, everything and anything that you can imagine. In fact, I always. It's funny. My staff. I'll have new patients in the office before I even talk to them. They're talking in the thing. And I hear you need the molecules. You need this. I'm like, you got to calm down. No. I got to talk to these people first before you're just, you know, telling people the excitement in the office has been great. And it's just, and, and, and even not even my patients, some of my patients, family members from uh, in another state, other things happening. Um, people are getting happier, healthier, uh, weird stuff in their body is starting to get better. The energy is in, incredible, by the way. And you know, I wrote that book on energy. Um, I had high energy from following my steps, but you add this to it and people ask me, what am I on? And I don't drink coffee. I, you know, I don't need any of that stuff. I have lots and lots of energy, but I could tell you that I feel that any healthcare professional, any person, it doesn't matter who the people are, if they know somebody that's having an issue, um, any kind of issue, that maybe they just want to feel and function better in whatever situation they're in, what, whether they're getting medical treatment already, and they just wanted something a little added bonus, or just, you know, wanting to be healthier. This is something that I feel I can recommend and other healthcare professionals that I've talked to, they're recommending it. My husband says he can ride his bike longer. You know, the athletic performance um, with it is amazing. You don't get that, that pain, that recovery issue. Um, just it's, it's wonderful. I love it. Yeah. I know your husband's a big biker. That's one thing he and I have in common. And uh, I know he feels that it really gives him that, that kind of extra boost and recovery so that he can keep up with those younger guys in the Peloton, right? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, he leads them because, and it's funny because he'll go on vacation and he'll come back and with cyclists, I guess, I'm not a cyclist, but I guess when you don't ride for a couple of weeks, your, you know, performance goes way down, but he'll just sure. get right in there and he leads them. So he's, they're always drafting off him and he's one of the older ones. So but they look at him and they're like, what are you doing? And he has a little pouch. He does the little pouches and um, some of his riding buddies, those that want that benefit from the athletic um, performance, want to know what he's doing. And, and they want it too. 
So, you know, I think one thing that some healthcare professionals understand, and I know you have, maybe you can just make a brief comment because we're getting kind of towards the end of the half hour here, but, you know, um, in the office, we can only impact one patient at a time. You know, we've got X number of minutes that we can spend with them. It is a business and we have to understand that. But um, how do you think being able to recommend this technology um, to your patients, how, how, how much has that helped you kind of extend your influence over mankind's um, ability to have less suffering and, and better health? Not tremendously. I, I love it. And I love that there are tools and different videos and webinars and certain things, because I'll have people that I feel that can be benefited from, but I'm busy in the office and I don't always have the time to discuss it in the office. So I either um, send them a link to one of those, or I, I say, you if you want to get it now, get it now. And I'll send you directions on, on what to do. But this just helps Every, it just helps our, our patients deeper than what we can do in the office. And, you know, it's helping mankind and humanity in so many ways, because by us being healthier and happier and being able to spread that word, because I have these little evangelist patients, as I call them, talking to their friends and their relatives and other people, because they see the value and I keep hearing different stories about people I don't even know that are benefiting from, from the technology. And it makes me feel amazing because that's why I got into this business in the first place, the, the helping people business, because you want to help the people. You don't want to just mask something. You want to actually help them be happy in, in every part of their lives. So when they're happy and healthy, everything in their life gets better. If they're business people, their business gets better. The relationships get better. It's just, it feels really good to be a part of that and to be able to recommend something I am passionate about. And I believe wholeheartedly will help pretty much anybody on the planet. Kids, adults, I know that the kids have their own redox, but just seeing, and I've seen in my practice, little kids benefiting from it, especially the topical stuff. They're always falling mm -hmm. and doing different things. So I think that should be in every first aid kit and in every household um, on top of everything else. Great. Not only that, but their dogs and cats and horses and, and uh, any other uh, living uh, entity that they interact with. Well, ordinarily, I wrap this up by saying, you know, what would you uh, when, if you were approaching another healthcare professional, what would you say to them to get them to take a look at this? But I think this whole half hour has, uh, has been, what would you say to them about taking a look at this? So I don't think we need to, um, to dig into that any deeper, but, um, you know, this, uh, I love, um, your involvement. I love your, uh, your attitude and, and your engagement. And I love the, the number of people that you've been able to help. And it's just a perfect example uh, of one person um, mentioning it to another person and then getting the team involved to help you. Uh, and now you don't, you don't need any help explaining this to anybody. You're, you're up and running and, and really sharing it with, with others. Um, and your last point was a great one. You don't always have to be the tool that explains this to someone. Use a video, use, use, a, use a tool that where, you know, like this video is going to be an excellent tool for somebody who's approaching a, another chiropractor or any other health professional uh, when they say, well, why would I take a look at this? What are, or what are other uh, chiropractors, uh, other types of health professionals doing with this? So I thank you very much uh, for spending a, you know, half an hour here on your Saturday morning. And I, I hope you have a great weekend. And uh, I know everybody that's watching is going to really appreciate this and we'll get this out so that people can share it. So thank you, Yanni. Um, do you have anything else you'd like to add or, or are we cool with that? No, we are cool with that. Thank you so much for having me. And um, well, all I have to say is if you're a health uh, care doctor professional and, you know, health professional in any way, try it. You've got nothing to lose. Even if you just try it for yourself, learn a little bit about the science because it makes sense. Um, I don't lead with the science, but 
some some people may want to hear the science. It's unbelievable technology, and there's a lot of resources out there that once you know the power that this can create in other people's lives, how can you not share this with your people? I mean, I don't understand how you can't do it. It's just, it's a it's a disservice to not tell other people about it, whether they're your patients, family member family members, colleagues, anybody else. So that's that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for having me. Good to see you again, Dr. Walker. Absolutely. And uh, same here. And thank you very much. And this recording will be available in the usual venues. Um, if you can't find it, reach out to Nancy or I and we can, uh, and we can get you scored away with that. So thanks again. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, and um, 